And I'm so thankful that we got a God that can hear. Is when we communicate with him, he can hear us. That night, I began to talk to God. And I said, Lord, I said, I need to hear a word from you tonight. I need to hear you speak to me. And I got up and I picked up my Bible that was all dusty from off of the wall unit. And I took that Bible and I went into the bathroom because I didn't want to wake up none of my family. And all of a sudden, the Bible fell on the floor and I fell on my knees and I began to cry. And as soon as my eyes hit the word of God, God spoke a word to me that night. And this is what he said. And he says, and when I saw him, he said, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, he said, fear not. He said, fear not. He said, for I am the first and the last. Everything that was going on in my spirit, everything that was going on in my mind, God knew. Hallelujah. And he began to speak that word directly into my spirit. He says, fear not. He says, for I am the first and the last. He says, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. There was my answer. I was afraid to die. Because if I died, I would go to hell. But the Lord says, I got the keys tonight. The keys are to your answer. And when I read that word, I fell on my face to God. And I began to cry and I began to repent. And I said, Lord, forgive me. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me. Heal my backsliding, Lord. Touch me one more time. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon me where I was in that bathroom, just talking and communicating to the Lord. And God restored me that night. Hallelujah. God restored my life back to Him. And I want you to know tonight He can do the same for you. Hallelujah. He loves you. He cares for you. Maybe you've sat in the church for years, but your heart is far from God. Maybe you sat here, but it seems like there's been no change in your life. God wants to change you. Hallelujah. God wants to restore your life to him tonight. He wants to bring healing and deliverance. I begin to understand something. That I had lost my first love. Revelations chapter 2 and verse or says, he says, nevertheless, I have somewhat up against thee because thou hast left thy first love. That's the reason why at times we get ourselves in a mess. Hallelujah. We get ourselves in situation because we are serving God. But all of a sudden, hallelujah, we're awakened. All of a sudden we realize what's wrong with me. Things aren't the same. Maybe it's because you've left your first love. You stop desiring the things of God. All you're moving on is emotions. Hallelujah. He says, but remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. He says, and repent and do the first works. He says, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. God had to bring me back to a place of repentance in my life. God had to. See, the Bible says sin separates us. Sin separates us from the love of God. God doesn't leave us. But the 
Bible says sin will separate you from the love of God. So I began to understand something that I needed God to restore me and to heal me one more time. And God is here tonight. And you wonder sometimes, Lord, why am I in this situation? It's because your heart has departed from the Lord. But he's calling his people back to a place of repentance. He's calling us back. He wants to restore that love. He wants to restore that fellowship, that genuine fellowship that you once experienced in back into your life. I remember this one night not long ago, I was getting ready to go to sleep and all of a sudden, I just began to praise God in my home. And I couldn't stop praising him. And I just kept praising him and just telling him how much I loved him, how much I cared. Telling him how much he meant to me. I just kept speaking those words to the Lord. And all of a sudden, I was trying to interrupt what I was doing. And I was trying to start praying for people and praying for my family. And all I could feel in the spirit and sense was this Lord was saying no let this time just be for us let this time just be for me and you and I just you know God just wanted me just to love him and worship him and I begin to feel I begin to sense that that night there's times that our heavenly father just wants to spend that time with you to have that love relationship. Because so many times our mind is all over the place when it, God wants to pour his love upon us. And I begin to feel such a strong love that I've never felt. And I couldn't get over it, blew me away. So many different experiences that God had given to me. But tonight, God is calling his people back to that place of repentance. If you've lost your love, your commitment that you had, he's calling you back tonight to come. I want the musicians to come. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering tonight. Praise God. I want to sing this song. I want Sister Dale to come again. Hallelujah, Jesus.